Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Charterman, Charterman, Charterman Rhyme Greedy comics, toys are hella sick Hell whackin' it, take a bad hit Take a bad hit, Charterman uh, Subscribe Machine of Mains Ooh, chicks with sticks, no thank you Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends M'Baku Build-A-Figure Waves Avengers Infinity War Vibranium Black Panther. If you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. So yeah, kind of interesting seeing an Avengers Infinity War figure mixed in with all these Black Panther movie figures, but hey, they're all part of the M'Baku Build-A-Figure Wave. On the side, you can see the Vibranium Black Panther right over there and then on the back you can see another vibranium black panther there's read up over here if you want to read it go ahead and pause it now there's the other figures from the wave then we get black panther again on the side we get the avengers a spot varnished on the top not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open and here's the vibranium black panther figure out of the packaging now we've seen this body mold before but we have some new paint apps over here that are actually quite pleasing for me i really like that metallic purple paint that we're seeing as far as accessories go uh we're not seeing a whole a lot of new over there either uh, we do get a brand new t'challa head sculpt though that i'm liking so far so that looks pretty sweet but first let's get a closer look at those interchangeable hands and then we'll get a closer look at t'challa so aside from the build a figure piece and the head sculpts these are the accessories that we get with black panther now i actually bought two of these because uh, there are two in a case and i have one up on ebay and that one i actually used for the packaging segment of this video so you'll notice that we have silver paint apps on the nails of this one and we don't have silver paint apps on the nails of this right side so that's a bit frustrating I didn't realize that till later on and by the way the price that I have it up on eBay is just for the price I bought it for we get some nice metallic purple paint right here which I really dig that is cool just wish we had silver right there on the nails and then you can see this one has the silver then nice metallic purple again unfortunately the fisted hands don't have any purple on them at all that's a little unfortunate I mean really yeah, they should have added the purple paint on these too so here's looking at the T'Challa head sculpt and once again I think Hasbro absolutely nailed it with this head sculpt I really dig it quite a bit uh, the paint apps on the mustache are a little off uh, I'm seeing that right above his mouth on the other uh, vibranium black panther figure I had noticed the hairline was just a little bit off on that one so there's tiny little things here and there are gonna creep up up, you know, but really I think they did a great job with this head sculpt. That looks fantastic. I really like it. I really like the facial expression too. Uh, one other thing that kind of bothers me, again, there's not enough paint for the hair. As you can see on the back of his head, it's like, what the hell is going on right there, T'Challa? Is like balding or something? You know what I mean? So yeah, they definitely could have added a lot more paint on the back of the head right there. But yeah, I do like that facial expression. Uh, comparing it to the other Black Panther figure from this wave, uh, you can see that they are very similar head sculpts, both very good looking pieces. And then we get the vibranium helmet sculpt right here, and just pop that on, and this looks awesome! I love how this looks, I don't know what it is, I know it's the same figure as before, so I kind of feel like a sucker for just really liking this look so much, but damn it, oh man, uh, it, it, it hits the geek spot. I really love that metallic purple in there, it looks so freaking cool to me. I'm just really loving it. I was not really looking forward to this figure that much, but after having it in hand, I was like, damn, this looks sick. Yeah, I'm very pleased with that. That is pretty awesome. There's not a whole lot of that purple paint going on in the back of the head, but yeah, on the back of the figure, we see a whole lot right over there. Again, that looks just really cool to me. Very pleased with that. It really does distract me from this whole man's ear or bro thing going on right here. You know, it just, yeah, it looks really cool to me. I think it just makes the sculpt pop out a whole lot more. And I guess another thing that's making this man's ear not stand out to me as much as before is that on the previous version, you could see this is a lot smoother in the chest. We're seeing a lot more textured detail throughout on this figure, especially in that upper torso section, even on the abs and everything. So yeah, I think that distracts from this whole bro look. It looks beautiful, man. I'm very pleased with that. That is dope. Coming around on the back of the figure. Got a whole bunch of this nice metallic purple paint going on right here. Really feeling that quite a bit. Uh, if you want to take the effects from the comic version of the Vibranium Panther, I guess you could add that on there, but it does look a little bit more pink than purple. And I did pick up the SH Figure Arts Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Star-Lord figure that came with these big purple effects, which do look a little bit more pink than purple. Now, I did take a lot of pictures of the figure with these, you know, because I wanted to use them anyway, because that's why I picked up the figure. So a little disappointed that this isn't as purple as I thought it would be. Do me a favor and wait until you see the figure posed with this and let me know 
show how you think that works. Now the articulation on this figure is exactly the same as it was on the previous version, uh, the one with the crappier head sculpt right over there. So I'm gonna do it in Spanish. Okay, podemos mover la cabeza arriba mucho y abajo y podemos mover la cabeza vuelta y tenemos estas puntos de articulación para los hombros y podemos mover los brazos así y así y, ten, y podemos moverlo aquí arriba y tenemos los puntos aquí para los codos y los manos si pueden uh, mover así y arriba y abajo mi español está muy malo entonces me voy a explicar muchas cosas que podemos uh, moverlo así y así en el cuerpo y así y podemos uh, mover las caderas así y las piernas arriba y atrás mucho podemos mover aquí y tenemos dos puntos aquí en los rodillas y las pies si sí podemos uh, mover abajo y arriba y tenemos cinco pivot now to measure out the height of this black panther you can see that he's standing a little under the six and a half inch mark and then for your MCU Black Panther figure comparison, you can see that we have the other figure from this wave that I already reviewed, so you can see how similar the head sculpts are over here, and then we have the two older Black Panther figures, which, yeah, <laughs> did not really deliver in comparison to these newer ones. And of course, the heads are all swappable, so if you want to put any of these newer heads on the older body molds, you can do that. You can switch them out any way you like, or if you want to put this uh, head sculpt that didn't really work out so well. Yeah, on there, you could do that if you'd like, you know, so yeah, the, all the heads could be swapped. And then while swapping heads, we got the masked head on there, and we're doing a Vibranium Black Panther comparison with the comic version right over here, uh, aka the Pink Panther figure, and yeah, man, it looks so much cooler with the purple. I don't know why, I'm just a sucker for purple over black. It looks so cool. Black Panther? Party. What yeah. is Have you seen Nakia? What is Nakia? Have you seen Nakia? I want some Nakia. And then here's the Vibranium Black Panther figure next to the other figures from this wave that I have already reviewed. We have the T'Chaka figure, we have Black Panther, we have the Dora Milaje figure, we have Killmonger, and then we have Ulysses Claw. Stay tuned for the Mbaku build a figure review coming soon. And then here's the Vibranium Black Panther figure next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider Man. Hmm, so if that thing is fully charged and you twerk, will that make a big explosion? So please let me know what you guys think of these Tamashi effects going along with this Black Panther figure. I don't know. Do you like it? Do you not like it? I'm kind of liking it. I don't know. It doesn't look too bad. But anyway, I really appreciate you guys watching my video. If you want to hit that like button if you liked it, please do so. Leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you haven't already. And this thing is, uh, I gotta say, I, it's my favorite movie Black Panther figure. I'm sure there's a ton of people that are just going to skip past this figure knowing that it's a repaint and it comes with a new head sculpt, which is is pretty awesome, but yeah, uh, I, for me, I'm liking it a lot. I'm giving it a sun rating of I love it. Please let me know what you think of this figure in the comment section below. If you want to see the latest Marvel news, photos, and forums, you can find it all over at marvelousnews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on the social media, check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. Links to everything I talked about in the description below. Ah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.